I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday, March the 21st, brought to you in part by Macrocin by Bimeda. Macrocin is a telethromycin injection, basically a generic Draxin with proven efficacy at an affordable upfront price. End of story. For more information, go to macrocin.com. Managing supplies, uh, that's what the Packers do, and that is a luxury of an oligarchy when you can manage the supplies of the product that you desperately need uh, to, to hang on the hooks that are in those plants but uh, we don't see that in cattle auctions not even fat cattle auctions because you have competitive bidding there uh, we definitely don't see it in our feeder cattle markets because we got too many players uh, don't see it on calf markets uh, got too many players there we don't even see it in your cow and bull markets uh, your cow and bull packers still compete for cows mostly in auctions and we see that because whenever they need the, the grinding meat, they need boneless beef, they need cow carcasses, uh, the prices go up whenever they need them. Uh, they're not able to just uh, use a balancing act to try to uh, you know just, uh, just buy just enough uh, to keep the supplies at a, at a rate where the market doesn't uh, get out of hand and uh, you know it's frustrating when everybody that's in the commercial calf and yearling market are depending on that one price that we get each week on our fat cattle and we can't seem to get it higher uh, when we really need it to get higher uh, we did we did gain some ground last week and this week is kind of a deja vu from last week uh, the bin, board's been fairly agreeable so far this week uh, hasn't been down too much. We did get one big update there on Monday, but uh, you know, now we're just waiting here. Haven't seen hardly any fat cattle kind of trade at all uh, on a direct basis in your five area feeding region, which is where the rubber meets the road. And now we're getting here late in the week, and we're just worried about uh, whether they're going to crash the board. Uh, they did that last week, or made a good attempt at it, and still had to give more for fat cattle. And and if they crash the board this Thursday here today then uh, they're probably still going to have to give better than steady uh, because they tipped their hand last week uh, late in the week on Friday morning and then again on Saturday which we weren't even expecting a Saturday slaughter and they ended up slaughtering 15,000 which is not huge but it's significant when we weren't expecting anything at all uh, but our, our beef imports are up 38% uh, year to date and that's natural uh, because we're, we're running low on product, we're low on cattle, extremely tight on all classes of cattle including cows and bulls uh, that make up a lot of that grinding product. Is That's pretty much all we import is grinding product. Uh, uh, those those uh, high choice and prime ribeyes that we all like to put on our grill, uh, they're pretty much all domestic. We're the, we're the only ones that feed cattle uh, on, a, on a wide basis and feed most all of our steers and heifers here in this country and so uh, when we get ready to pull these grills out and due to this early spring we're already seeing grills coming out a lot of us want to put a good ribeye on that grill and uh, and we're going to have uh, excellent demand here coming in uh, to this second quarter and we always do when the grills come out and, and everybody gets excited about their backyard grilling but uh, you know talking again about these cows and bulls these prices are getting unbelievably high. Uh, winter livestock in Dodge City, Kansas, uh, they sold cows three to four bucks higher and slaughter bulls eight to ten dollars higher, including the highest selling bull was a high yielding black Angus bull weighed 2420 at 173.50. And uh, I talked to uh, Mason Winter there at Winter Livestock and I thought Surely that had to have been a, a big uh, double muscle bull or a Piedmontese or something like that would, would bring such a big price. And he said, no, it was just a, a big old black Angus bull there. So uh, we got excellent demand for, for all classes of slaughter cattle and all classes of feeder cattle and calves too. But uh, uh, we've got to, a lot to be thankful for here and, and we're not really complaining. Uh, it's just that, uh, you know, when, we, when the time finally comes around, Whenever we're, it's time to make some money, uh, we're in the sunshine. Uh, you know, we shouldn't have to, uh, you know, worry about an oligarchy that's that's uh, managing and balancing the supply, keeping the prices at bay all the time. But uh, if you guys are looking for some weaned 
uh, you know, backgrounded or processed calves there down in the, in the heart of Texas. Navasota, Texas is having one of their big commingled uh, weanback sales there. 5,000 head plus coming up here on Friday. They've got a 60 day weaned or more on all of them. They've all had a modified live uh, vaccination there. They've all been EID tagged if that's important to you. But uh, check out that sale in Navasota, Texas. I want to tell you about another sale here tomorrow on Friday is, uh, is or it's coming up on Friday. Uh, Santa Teresa livestock auction in Santa Teresa, New Mexico. That is my good friend Tato Medina Wallace. He runs that sale barn there and he's having an Angus influence sale on Friday uh, about about 2,000 head or near about 2,000 head. That's a big run guys and those are cattle are all Mexican cattle are coming in there uh, but the quality is outstanding as you can see here in this picture. Uh, that he sent me. That's going to be 11 o'clock in the morning central on Friday. Go on to dvauction.com uh, and, and get a hold of them there in the office at Santa Teresa Livestock Auction. Give them your information. Uh, get approved to bid on that sale. Uh, the cattle have already jumped through all the hoops that they have to. Whatever you pay for them in that ring on the ring scale weight, that is what you pay for those cattle. You load them on your trucks, take them to your house, and it's just like Wilford Brimley used to say about cocoon, uh, they don't ever get sick and they don't ever die. Also, Kingsville Livestock Auction in Kingsville, Missouri. My friends, the Anstein's there. Rick Anstein, Jeremy Anstein, Je uh, Jared Anstein, uh, they're all working there together as a big family. They do a great job. They've got three big Friday specials. The first of which is going to be this Friday here on the 22nd. Uh, they've got the Circle A female dispersal there. They're going to be selling 3,800 head in total uh, with the March 22nd sale, uh, April 5th sale, and an April 19th sale all on Friday, all starting at 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, now all those fall pairs uh, that you're going to be able to purchase there, they're all purebred out of the Circle A Angus herd there. They're all bred uh, easy cabin bulls that are three-quarter Angus and one-fourth Wagyu. So if you're wanting to get into some of those premium type carcasses there, guys. Uh, but uh, it, it's going to be quite a deal. You can go on to dvauction.com and view and bid that sale. Get a hold of them there at Kingsville Livestock. Tell them you want to be approved. Give them your information. Get approved there. And this Friday, the first of the three specials, they're going to be offering 200 head of first calf heifer pairs of the quality I just told you. They've got 600 uh, young cows, three to seven year old pairs, and uh, another 200 short and solid mouth pairs, and then 325 head of fall bred heifers. And uh, like I said, you get on to dvauction.com, view and bid that sale, and that's going to be quite an event there. Let's talk about your board on Wednesday. April live cattle futures down a quarter at 187.80. June was down just 22 cents at 184.77. Your back months were all down, but not uh, not considerably, uh, down 15 cents to as much as 57. March feeder cattle were down 42 cents at 250 and a quarter. April down 15 at 240 or 254.92. Your back months on feeder cattle were similar down uh, some, but just moderately down 12 cents to down 62. May corn down a half cent a bushel at 439. May beans up 24 cents, 1209 and a half. Kansas City hard red winter wheat for May down two and a quarter cent at 580 and a half. Talk about your fat cattle trade. We did see one deal uh, move on a direct basis near five area feeding region. It was out of Kansas appeared to be one deal 1100 head uh, but the quality of, of the cattle and then that sale were they ran the full gamut from from some really good high quality cattle to some that were just uh, they maybe not even half choice there but uh, they all sold steady with last week's market 186 uh, most everybody else is priced at 188 and they're likely to get more of a premium in the northern plains there uh, where they have more of the higher grade and uh, quality cattle there. Did have a fat cattle auction on Wednesday at Sioux Falls Regional Livestock in Worthing, South Dakota. Fat cattle market was up big last week if you remember and then this week it was kind of uneven from two lower to one dollar higher there. 
uh, from, from last week's big gains there, but your conventional fat steers and heifers there at Worthing, South Dakota sold from 183 and a quarter to 190.50. Uh, the program fats non implanted or drug free sell from 185 to 195. It's a big time price there, guys. How about your box beef cutout values? They were mixed. 313.44 on the choice cutouts. That's up 22 cents there on Wednesday afternoon. Selects were down 47 at 302.71. Your slaughter. Uh, running at a better pace than last week, 358,000 up through the first three days of the week. That's 7,000 more than last week, 20,000 less than the same week a year ago. Talk about what else is going on. Punchy Pick of the Month contest continues to go on, guys. We've been getting several picks uh, through the month, but we usually get a big glut of them right here at the end of the month because we will be awarding that uh, top prize the last day of the month. And uh, you send in your punchy pick just through your, through your daily activities. Something happens uh, fairly often if you're working cattle or out there uh, doing your chores or whatever. Uh, snap that picture with your phone. Send it to punchy at nationalbeefwire.com and you're automatically entered to win. And the top prize there is some really cool swag from Beaver Feed Company in Beaver, Oklahoma. Beaver County Stockyards there in Beaver, Oklahoma. My buddy Jeff Slatton and family there. And then you also get the, the biggest part of the grand prize, which is a whole case of fair piece, that revolutionary product that's scientifically proven. Guys, you gotta, you got to get into that stuff. It calms the cattle down. It doesn't matter what you're doing with cattle. It's nice to get them calmed down, especially those, uh, those high-risk cattle that uh, you know been bought one at a time or a few at a time, uh, bunched together and shipped, and you're trying to get them straightened out. You know, Take that stress out of them get them to eating and drinking uh, and then the drugs that you're giving them and the vaccinations will work much better. Stay tuned to a video that I'm going to try to remember to stick on to the end of this feeder flash uh, with a testimonial on there. Talk about your feeder cattle market, your real-time index on DV auction late in the day on Wednesday based on an 800 pound cash auction steer up through your middle 12 states was sitting at 254.18 through Wednesday sales. That was up another 78 cents for Wednesday. Your latest CME cash feeder cattle index is trailing behind at 251.41. Talk about your big sales, feeder cattle sales on uh, Wednesday. OKC West, El Reno, Oklahoma, another DV auction broadcaster there, guys. 5,900 for their two day sale with calves on Tuesday and feeder cattle on Wednesday. Market was really good. Feeder steers another two to six bucks higher. Feeder heifers were steady to five bucks higher, and calves sold two to seven dollars higher. One extreme stickout deal I saw uh, from El Reno was 60 steers weigh 10, 13, and bring 224. And El Reno was your national beef wire stickout sale of the day. It was just the Wednesday sale, 4,000 head for that sale. And you look at your best tested weights. Notice there was hardly any calves there at all. They sold on Tuesday, but 476 head of seven weight steers averaged 751 at 258.39. 846 head of eight weight steers averaged 865 at 239.01. And 697 steers in the nine weight category had a weighted average weight right at 950. Weighted average price at 227.30. Look at some heifers. Couple of big groups there. 658 had a seven weight heifers, average 745 at 231.59. And 579 head of eight weight heifers in El Reno, Oklahoma, averaged 839 pounds with a weighted average price of 217.92. Now, winter livestock in Dodge City, I told you about the cow market, but they had a good feeder market there too. 2,600 head in Dodge City on Wednesday. Feeder steers were unevenly steady. Steer calves were 10 to $12 higher. Heifers, all weights and classes, six to 10 bucks higher, with spots as much as $15 higher. And a stick out sale in Dodge City was 71 head of heifer calves, weighed 487, bring 327.50. Give you some other individual quotes from all around, and I do mean all around. How about Northeast Georgia Livestock's board sale there? That's in Athens, Georgia. Talked to Todd Stevens there, and on that board sale included a load of 960-pound Holstein steers, 
They bring one ninety seven seventy five. Todd told me that was thirteen dollars higher than the same board sale they had three weeks earlier. How about Bloomfield Livestock Market in Bloomfield, Iowa? I uh, just saw Roman Schooley. He was in Amarillo, Texas, uh, watching his boy uh, pitch there at my alma mater, West Texas A&M University. But he was back at work up there in Bloomfield, Iowa, and they sold 59 steers, weighed 826 at 26010. But the most impressive quote that I saw anywhere, and I do mean anywhere, in your Macrosin, no BS, top quote for the day, come out of Asher and Auction Mart in Asher, Manitoba, Canada. They sell 51 steers, weigh 818 pounds, bring 363 and a quarter Canadian, and that's 268.80 US, guys. And that's your feeder flash for Thursday. My biggest account is Jeff Slatton, the owner of Beaver County Stockyards. For a while, we was selling him lots of antibiotics to doctor's cattle with. He was having basically a wreck at times. Therapies comes along, we introduce it, he starts trying it out. Almost instantly his vet bill reduced drastically and the only thing that was changed up was Therapies. I've also had other guys, cow-calf guys this previous fall that tried it. Had one individual out here east of Beaver. Uh, first time he's ever tried it. He said he's always weaned his calves, they ball, they're right around his house, can't sleep. This is the first year he's used it. Uh, he sent me a video one afternoon. The calves are all at the bunk, they're eating, they're spread out doing what they're supposed to do, and not a sound. So he was sold on it instantly. I've had several other reports of that, lots of people saying that their cattle just, they act different. They're calmer, they handle easier, they're at the bunk, they're drinking. If your cattle are doing that, they're gaining, they're doing what they're supposed to do.